The Bible clearly states, let every man be a liar and the word of God be the truth. And this, this is the truth, what the Bible says. What I want to speak about today is I want to speak about how the condemnation in this world that true born again believers face the condemnation of this world that uh, born again believers face this condemnation of this world it is a lie okay this condemnation of this world it is a lie because we are no longer condemned once we take our confessions and prayers to the foot of the cross we are no longer condemned once we take our prayers and our confessions to the foot of the cross. They become enemies of the cross when they deny the forgiving power and mercy of the cross because at the foot of the cross is all mercy and all forgiveness. That was Jesus Christ's whole mission. The reason that God the Father allowed Jesus Christ to suffer the horrendous death on the cross was to be, a, to, to be able to enable us all to have a chance of mercy and forgiveness from God the Father. Otherwise, without Jesus Christ, we wouldn't have been able to make it because we haven't got the power within ourselves to be able to be good people. We haven't. We just haven't. We're all born wicked and the only way that we can be transformed is through the is through the the blood of Jesus Christ and through the uh, transformation power of the Holy Spirit which completely transforms and gives us a regenerative heart and a new mind and completely transforms us day by day by day I'm not saying that born again believers in Christ are always going to be perfect and that we're not going to slip up and we're not going I, I mean I have to be honest I have fallen into sin a few times stumbled I'm not saying that I've lived in perpetual sin but I have stumbled into a few sins I won't go into it but this is between God and I um, and I still feel God's presence with me because I I know that there's also another verse in the Bible which says the righteous may fall seven times, but they will they will still you know they will they will still rise. The righteous may fall seven times, but they will still rise. So we can't expect our walk within this Christian uh, walk to be completely flawless, or com that we're not going to stumble at times because. The, the Bible also says um, if we if we um, if we say we we have no sin we we are also lying to our we're lying you know we we have you know if we say we have no sin and I, I believe that refers to us born again believers if, if we say we have no sin then we we, we, we are lying because we, we're all gonna sin here and there but hopefully our goal is to not keep going into perpetual sins and when we recognize that we've been in in a sin whatever that sin that may be we recognize the sin and then we do something about it we pray harder and fast more to be able to to get strength from the holy spirit to keep us out of the sin so that that is what i want to speak about with regards to sin i'm not saying that i'm perfect I'm not saying that I'm self-righteous because I'm not. And my righteousness only comes from the power of the Holy Spirit. This is not my righteousness. The, how I've been transformed over the years gradually has been through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's been nothing to do with me at all. So we cannot be self-righteous at all. I realize this. Um, so all forgiveness and mercy comes at the foot of the cross. And... Um, there's people of this world, like worldly people, 
who are trying to, to condemn born again believers in, in the faith. And to be honest with you, they, they, as far as I'm concerned, they are lying. They are lying. They are liars. They are like the serpent who lied to, to Eve in the Garden of Eden. They are lying like the serpent, like the serpent lied to Eve in the Garden of Eden. People are behaving like the serpent. They're lying. Okay? So we have to realize this. There are people in this world who are like the serpent in the Garden of Eden, telling lies. And they're lying to born-again believers, telling us that we're forever condemned, that we can't be forgiven. This is all a lie. We can be forgiven. We are forgiven when we come to the foot of the cross. And I'm getting a little bit impatient, and I'm praying to God to give me more patience with this, because I'm getting tired of people trying to make me feel condemned when I'm no longer condemned. I'm not condemned with Almighty God. So, you know, the, the, serpent, the, te, the serpent, the devil, he told lies to Eve. And people of this world are doing the same. They're doing the same things with their words and actions of hindrance and condemnation. And their words and actions are lies. Their, wor their words and actions are lies.